platform. Here we have Mr. Karthik Star, who has planned to do this as it is in uh, abroad. So here we are going to conduct bond voyage for him. We are going to honor him based upon our institution. Okay? So he will tell you how to approach the universities, what are the exams you need to take place in future, that is after completing your uh, final year or before completing your final year. He will just clarify all your doubts regarding higher studies. Okay? Here we have uh, Mr. Karthik Sai to address you. I didn't mean this scholarship. I'm my honorable HOD, several so supportive to me all the way. Uh, and my class in charge is Thomas. First of all, uh, how many of you are here you are planning to do your MS degree? Is there any plans for your MS degree? Like some people will have like if, when you are starting your BE, they will have some plans like I should do MS and I should achieve something. Anybody have plans like that? There is nothing to do here, you can just raise your hands. So, okay. That's it. Uh, if you are planning to do MS, right, uh, you should first look upon which country you are going to. So if you are planning to a country which is highly economic like uh, UK or uh, some kind of Australia, that countries, they do not have like stay back options. Especially you know about what is Trump doing here. He is uh, throwing away all the Indians out of the country from US. So first, first of all you should plan to which country you have to go, like you should have better stay back options. Like you will be uh, spending up to 20 or 25 to 40 lakhs, you will be spending on your MS degree and uh, you will not get like, uh, they will not allow to stay in, stay back in the country because your visa will get over or you will not get a proper job there. Uh, so I have chosen Canada because uh, they have better stay back options. So if I am studying for two years, so I will be, I'll be getting like three years of post study visa which is after completing my two years of study, I'll have three years of work permit, which I'll I'll stay there and search some work. So at that time, if I work for one year, I'll get permanent residence, in which I'll, I can stay there permanently uh, and I can work. I'll be an Indian citizen, but I'll work for them. It will go that way. If at all you take this Australia or USA, they'll uh, give up to, in USA, if you're studying for two years, you'll get only six months of post-study work visa which is not sufficient. If you are going out now, if you are completing your uh, UG, if you go out and search, how many of you are sure that you will get a job? See, I have completed this 2017, but I have got a job, of course, but your profile should be so strong that you should get a job here. So, you should be prepared to get a job in campus. That's it. If you are not getting a job in campus, you should have a plan to go study abroad or study something which will help you to make your profile strong. If you are not getting a job inside uh, or someone will be so lethargic that I can search job outside, I don't want any jobs here, they are giving IT jobs and some kind of like uh, normal BPO jobs. Uh, it's not the way. If you are placing in campus, you will be placed, you will be having some kind of respect. But you are, if you are going out of the campus, you are, not, you are zero. Like you are a normal person who is going and searching, like you have seen many movies, right? So none of them will recognize you. What is your degree? They'll ask B. There are five lakh people in a year coming out for B. So you should be strong that you should get a job here or else you should make a plan likewise. See, uh, I have started my process after studying because I, I thought that I will get a job uh, while going out. Even even I have got a job outside, but see, if you work for this 24,000 outside, it will not help you in your future. So you should have your profile strong. Um, you are not asking any questions, so I have no topic to talk about. Is anyone planning to do your MS or not? You are planning? So, if you have any questions like how to approach them, any other, so what are the exams to take off on? Do you have any questions? You can ask. What kind of question you have? Sit. Yes, no. Does it have to take 
Yeah. Yeah. That's what I have to say. There is a system called transcript TR certificate. You can apply to an university when you are studying your third year because many of the best universities they will be serving as first come, first serve. And they have some kind of other options like put their country people first. If you are if you if you are a Canadian, if you are an Indian, so if you go and apply to an university, put Indians first will be there. So they will first of all occupy the domestic people and they will be providing for abroad students. So if, if you are starting your like procedure in your third year, they will be asking for your TR certificate. So best universities will be completed within your like third year itself. Uh, university of Toronto, then uh, McGill University, they are, there are some top universities over there. That will be getting completed in your third year itself. After completing your fourth year, if you are going, uh, uh, going and applying for the uh, same university, you will not get for sure. So you should, uh, you should waste one year and you should apply for the next year. So if at all you are having a plan like I will definitely take MS, you should, you should start in your third year itself. You should go get some TR certificate from Anna University. You can get a bona fide certificate from a college. You go to Anna University, you should apply a certificate there. They will give a certificate and you should apply with them. So you will get a conditional offer letter stating that if this student is completing his BE without any arrears and uh, they will have some kind of expectations, right? You should have 80 percentage or you should have 70 percentage, that's it. If he, if he is succeeding these expectations, he will be providing your unconditional offer letter uh, using which you can get your visa. So you have perfect plan like I will do my MS definitely for sure, then you should start from your third year, so, like at the end of your third year. So first of all, so you, uh, certain countries will require like IELTS examinations and certain countries will ask for GRE, TOEFL, GMAT. So GMAT is for PR. So uh, if you are getting into US, so if you are strong enough in studying and uh, your, like your background is too heavy, so I can manage anything, if at all they are sending out of the country, I can come here, I can survive anyway. But you will get a job for sure, but you will not get that kind of salary. Okay? So if you are having a heavy background, if, if you can support your studies and you can survive in the country, you can choose upon US and some kind of top universities for your study purposes. If you have a plan like I should, I should settle down in abroad and I should get a proper job and I should help my family from outside. If you have options like that, you should, you should go upon a country which have better stay back options like I said. They uh, will provide you PR easily, like PR in the sense you can live in the country without any questions asked by the immigration side. Any other questions? I think. I need to MS in uh, IITs. Uh, okay. Sorry, you, go, you want to do MS in? IIT. IIT. IIT institutions. MS in ME, that's. You, you say that you, you have to do in India. So you should write gate examinations and they have some kind of... I know about what are the procedures for abroad universities. I am not aware of doing here in IIT. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any others? You can ask, there is no one to question. Uh, if you are taking IELTS, I have taken IELTS. Like IELTS is a normal examination, like it will have like two types. If you are going for academic side, if you are going for a study permit, you will have to write study academic. And if you are going for uh, PR and for generally I have to visit that country and come back, there is a thing called general training. So we students should take academic side. Uh, if you are taking up on the university's expectations, like certain universities will have, you should have IELTS score up to 7.0. IELTS will happen for 9 points. So if you are getting 9, you are highly qualified. So uh, there will be four kind of sections like speaking, uh, listening, writing and reading. These four sections, uh, they will connect up to 9 points, 9 points, 9 points. They will have an average calibration. So uh, the uh, minimum score, he asked for the minimum score. That is based, based upon your, uh, like, which college you choose. If you choose for the best university, you should have like 8 points for sure. If you are not having 8 points, they will not give you. If, you, if at all you are choosing for normal universities or normal colleges, you will have to uh, get like 6 points. 6 points is the basic thing you, you require that 
for giving a certification that you know English and you know how to speak and survive inside the country. Actually, uh, certain people will have a plan like I should go abroad, however, I should go there and I should live there and I should enjoy that. That is not the way. Actually, uh, many of will have like I should go and study in an abroad university. It's not the way. Uh, you have set certain top universities where the, uh, you should, first of all, you should be aware of which course you are going to take. Like, you, you, ha you have to choose certain course, like I have taken design, so I, I, I want myself to be well trained in design. So first of all I have taken, I have to do MS in design. So, by then only I have uh, seen colleges like which are the colleges providing me design sector courses. So first you should be aware of which course you are taking and you should make a survey that which colleges or universities having that kind of course. And then only from that college which is the best one you have to choose. You should not choose uh, See, here in India, if I say, uh, if you are taking SSN, there will be five kind of courses like general engineering, electrical, uh, mechanical, everything. So, if you are planning for mechanical uh, in, in SSN college, if you, if you lo lost the seat, then will you take CSE in the same college? No? So, that's the way. You should, first of all, first of all, you should be prepared of which course you are taking. Then you should make a survey that uh, or the universities or uh, colleges having that kind of courses and you should choose upon which college from the selected uh, from the selected courses is the best thing okay then uh, you should choose which is the colleges they are ranking first and you should meet the expectations of that college and you should make your application okay how do we get the financial support from uh, okay finance sector some people some students will be like i can manage up to 40 lakhs but uh, I can manage any kind of financial is not a problem to me. You can take up on universities. See, I have taken in, this is a college. In Canada, there is two kind of options. Like, if you are doing MS in, in an university, it, it's a kind of MS degree. Like, you can do degree and you can, if you are furtherly, uh, if you are having a plans of doing research. So, that kind of students will take degree courses. But I have taken PG degree. Which is in the sense, I'll, uh, if you are taking university, it will cost you around 40 lakhs. Like per uh, year, you will be costed around 20 lakhs. So it will be like huge amount for for a middle class people. So if, I, if you have a plans like I should get a degree, but I can't pay more to that particular university. So you can take upon colleges, which are uh, colleges in the sense there are certain SPP colleges, Student Partnership Program. In this, uh, they'll be providing you many scholarships and they'll be giving just 16 lakhs you can complete your degree. Two years of degree you can complete it within 16 lakhs. So you, you, you have the same, uh, like weightage of the subjects will be same. If you are doing an MS degree in design, they'll have some CAD courses and SOLIDWORKS and how to design a path, everything they'll have. The same thing will be taught in that PG degree also, but it is maintained for people who are not well settled in their background, who can uh, who can manage around like 12, 16 lakhs and I can manage only 20 lakhs, but I should study the same course which is taught in the MS degree. So you will not be getting MS degree, you will be getting PG degree in the sense, uh, you, can, you can't go furtherly for research. So if you have a plan of studying and training yourself for that particular in that particular course, you can take colleges, which is the best option. You have the stay back options also to do. Financially, uh, many many students will think that uh, I don't have much finance and how to go there and uh, how to survive there, everything. First of all, uh, if you have a plan of studying MS, first set it financially like you don't want much money to go there. If you have 9 lakhs, like 9 lakhs in the sense you can get loan from your banks. They are frequently providing loans for higher education. If you go sit with the bank manager and if you ask for a loan, he is very well ready to give you loans. So never, if you have a small plan of going abroad also, just don't leave that. You can go read and there is a big future waiting for you. Thank you.
very soon expect all new people.